So the periodic table, which you have a copy of, in which you will be responsible for memorizing up to period five, one, two, three, four, five, all the way across by Friday. Let's recap how we've memorized the periodic table. So in the periodic table, there are 18 groups from left to right. The group numbers appear at the top, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, all the way to 18. The first group is called the alkali metals. And the way we memorize that is H, Linac, Rubidium, Cesium, Francium. They like to form a plus one charge. You can write that here when you do your test or your quiz. Group two are the alkaline earth metals. They can be memorized by saying Bemka, Cerbera, and they will form plus two ions. I would also like for you to memorize Sky Layak because when you write in the atomic numbers in the periodic table, you notice that they follow numerical order from left to right and the atomic numbers signify the number of protons in the atom. But at lanthanum and actinium, the, num the numbering pattern breaks so that the lanthanides continue in F block over here from 58 to 71, and then it continues at 72 uh, in D block. And the same thing happens at actinium. So the way you memorize where that happens is Skylayak, cadmium, yttrium, lanthanum, actinium at group three. D block from here to here is called the transition metals. These two are called S block because the filling of S orbitals occurs here. This is called P block because the P uh, orbitals are filling. Anything that's P6 is a noble gas, and group 18 is known as noble gases. Heen, Archer, Zern is the way you memorize that. They don't form compounds readily. It's been, they've been forced to form compounds, but typically noble gases don't form any compounds. FC Albriat is the halogens. They, have, they typically form a minus one charge. They're group 17, they have seven valence electrons. Group 16 has six valence electrons. The way you memorize them is to say the word osetepo, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. Group 15 is called the nitrogen group. They have five valence electrons in the past B. Group 14 is the carbon group, carbon, silicon, gesen pub. They have four valence electrons. And finally, balgainto is the boron group, group 13. So to memorize the periodic table left to right to make a word out of it, it doesn't have to be the way I do it. The way I've done it is he, Libebkinov, Nina, Michael, Sipsko, Arkask, Tiv, Kerman, Tico, Nikusin, Gejas, Berker. Herbs, Reserm, Matur, Kadai, Kadins, and Seb Tegster. Sispala, Hafta, Ria, Serbed, Ahog. Now, if you've memorized all these this way, and then you memorize these three rows from left to right, you basically have memorized the periodic table and you can have a ready reference without actually referring to it. Or if you do refer to a periodic table that's written down, you'll be able to understand it more readily. Metals appear on the left side of the periodic table. The metalloids are on the stair-step line. Everything that's sitting on the line is a metalloid. Everything that's touching the bottom of the staircase is a metalloid, except for aluminum and polonium, which are still metals. Even though they're touching the bottom here, polonium and aluminum are still metals. Everything to the right of the stair-step line is a non-metal. The red gases the, um, are on the right-hand side. Also, the diatomic elements are nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine. Actually, acetine is not a gas, and really you can't find any on the earth, but if it were present, you could, it would be a diatomic. Another way you can memorize them is to say Hofbrinkel. Hydrogen, O-F-B-R, I-N-C-L, Hofbrinkel. I like just to remember that it's a seven shape in the periodic table. These are all elements that are diatomic, naturally occurring as two atoms forming one molecule, and hydrogen is also diatomic. If you remember the uh, lanthanides, you can make a word out of that too. Chetburn, Pimpsim, Uged, Tibdi, Hoer, Timmy, Blue. And the actinides are the Ponk, Puam, Kumbakapest, Femnoler, or whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be the way I do it. <laughs>